Vaigurji ka khalsa, Vaigurji ki fate. Welcome back to a new video. My name is Amnith Paul Singh, and today's video will be talking about what's on my iPhone. With iOS 14 just coming out very recently, and the iPhone 12 just around the corner now, I wanted to dedicate a whole video to showing you all the apps I have on my phone and the way I organize all my different home screens. So if you're interested in seeing how I organize my personal phone, so you can hopefully take some lessons back to your phone, keep on watching. So the main screen on my iPhone, I don't have anything too fancy, just the basic stuff. The two things I want to call out though is the smart stack at the bottom. Right now it's showing all the different clocks for every time zone. This will change throughout the day depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes it'll recommend apps. Other times it'll just show a random photo. It's really fun just having something casual there. Then the second thing I want to call out is the sleep cycle app. I use this app every morning to wake up and it's been tracking my sleep since 2017. And I love having this app just give me all this insight into my sleep. And you can see that I've had Something happened in January of 2019 that really caused my sleep quality to go down the drain. I don't even remember what that was. And then other times of tracking when you go to bed, when you wake up, how long you spend in bed, how long you're asleep for, and a bunch of other stuff. It just really has a lot of information. I strongly recommend using an app to track your sleep and to wake you up. Now the next page of my home screen is where all the fun stuff is. These are the apps I literally use every single day. And a few things I wanna call out before I get to the apps are the widgets I have on the screen. On the top, I have something called the Night Sky widget. And I'm a huge space junkie. I love watching the International Space Station fly over my house randomly throughout the summer. And it's been flying over more recently, so this will actually tell me when it's coming up at night. And it also tells me the different planets when they're in the sky, so I love this stuff. If you're interested in that, check out the Night Sky app. This part of the app is absolutely free. And also on the left side, I have the Hey email widget. I use Hey, not Gmail, as my email client. And if you're interested in learning more about Hey email, I have a whole video dedicated to showing you what exactly Hey email is, check that out. And then below that email widget, I have my music, which is just my gear them playlist, a quick way to access that. Now when it comes to the apps, the top two apps are Sundar Gurtka and Hey Email. I use those every single day and then other basic stuff. The only other two that I want to really call out is the Pocket app and the Life360 app. The Pocket app is great for bookmarking different videos or blog posts that you don't necessarily want to read or watch in the moment. You can just save them to your Pocket app and you can go back and watch them later. So I've been using this more recently and it's been a great way to bookmark stuff. And then secondly, the Life360 app is a great way. It's like find my friends, but if you have friends who are not on iPhone, they're on Android, this is a great app. Also great for families if you want to track everyone in the family in one convenient location, this is a great app for that. Now the next page is all about health and activity. So I've been really, really trying to be more health conscious this past year or two even at this point. And now with the widgets feature, I love having a dedicated control center almost just for health. And on the top left here is my fitness widget for my Apple Watch, it tracks my steps and all that fun stuff. Then to the right of that is an app called Zero. And if you're into fasting at all, this is a great app for tracking your fast, intermittent fasting. So I do a 13 hour fast, which is really not that bad at all. The real way of doing this is 16 hours a day where you don't eat at all. And 13 hours is good because it forces you to eat relatively early and it stops you from snacking after you eat dinner. And that by itself has been a huge habit that I've picked up over the past year. And just tracking your fast through this app has been a really great way and having it on my home screen is just a convenient location for that. The next two things here is the hydration widget, which is from Health View. The app I use to track my water through my smart water bottle is called Hydrate, but they don't have their own uh, widget yet for tracking water. So uh, the Health View app is an app you can download and displays up to three health metrics from your health app. So that's what I use for that. And then the Unwind app is great to just have mindfulness throughout your day. If I'm feeling really stressed or anything like that, I'll open up this widget and it'll play a minute or two of rain sounds or something and it'll walk you through some breathing exercises. And this has been a really great way to just take a step back whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed. The last widget I have on this screen is my screen time. I always like to make sure I am not going crazy with my screen time and you'll be surprised how much time you spend looking at your phone 
definitely keep an eye on your screen time. You can also go into settings, look at it that way. Now my last page of apps, this is where my social media lives. This is where all my work stuff lives and anything that's distracting will live here. And the reason why I had this all on one page at the very end is because at night when my screen time downtime activates, it literally locks almost every app on this page. So this whole page is not usable after 10 o'clock at night for me. So basic stuff, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. The couple apps I do wanna talk about on this page is the Air app, the very last one. And this has been my new podcasting app. I love listening to this one podcast right now, The Creative Life by Sarah Dietschy. If you're into YouTubers and creative life, best podcast for that. But the cool thing about the Air app is that there's something that I wanna highlight, like if you're highlighting a book or something like that, you can actually highlight podcasts. I can press this quote button, it'll take a 30 second snippet of the audio and then save it to the app. So it's a really cool way to capture those quick little tidbits of information that you wanna remember. And then I have this whole system set up where this will sync with my computer and my notes, and I'll make another video about that in the future. If you're also interested in hearing more about that, check out Ali Abdal on YouTube. This is where I got this app from, recommended by him. And the other apps here are just social media related. Later is a social media scheduling app, so is Hootsuite. So basic stuff here. The one thing that you may not have seen before is Clipomatic. This is a cool app I've used a couple times on Instagram. It lets you have captions overlaid onto your video. So if you wanna have subtitles while you're talking into the camera, so you can post it on Instagram, Clipomatic is the app I've used for that. Besides that, that's essentially it. I do go in the app library once in a while. Whenever I download a new app, I will see it in the recently added section. This is where I can go to add it to one of my home screens. And then also I use the search button a lot for finding an app that may not be on my home screens. If you wanna learn more about how to hide all your extra apps that you don't wanna see anymore, check out my whole video on iOS 14 that walks you through that setting. Those are all the main apps and widgets I use on my phone currently. I change my layout every few months, so I'm sure I'll be making another video about this sometime in the future. If you have any recommendations for widgets or apps that you're using, please comment down below. I would love to check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Gurjika. Kalsa. Bye, Gurjiki. Fateh.